Hey guys, watch your cam uh, with another tutorial, hopefully short tutorial on how to move your save data from your Mac uh, San Andreas to your PC version of San Andreas. Um, I don't know if your situation is the same as mine, but I'm doing this because uh, my PS3 controller doesn't pair with my MacBook, um, but it works fine with my PC, so um, I just want to transfer that data um, so that I don't have to start the game all over and waste my time. Uh, okay, so um, first thing you want to do is go to Finder, go. Uh, you're gonna go to go to Folder or Shift Command G if you like shortcuts. Uh, okay, so you're gonna go to uh, the Folder Library, which is by doing that squiggly thing. I don't know what it's called to be honest. Um, squiggly thing forward slash Library. And then click go. Um, this is gonna pop up. Um, you can't access this just by searching for it because library is a hidden document, or yeah, it's a hidden folder. Um, Apple doesn't want you messing with this stuff because it's like it's crucial to your computer if you delete stuff that you think you didn't need and then messes up your computer. I don't know. Just it's it's like the system 32 for PC if you know what that is. Um, Alright, so anyways, you're going to go to Application Support, um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, P Drive, Documents, GTA San Andreas, User Files, and then GTA SA, GTA SA F1.B, it's a B file, um, that's the one you're going to have to copy except you can't copy it. I mean, you can copy it if you put it on a USB and then transfer it to your PC. But I have parallel, so I can just drag it into my PC. Mm, wait, messed up on that. Okay. Okay, let me open up GTA San Andreas user files. Okay, so this is my PC. I'm running PC and Mac at the same time with Parallel 7. Alright, so as you can see, there's a GTA SF1.b file already in my PC. That's the one I started. You have to start the game and then save the game and then um, quit the game and then do this. So you just drag it, simply drag it into that. If you don't have parallels, you need to put it on a USB flash drive and then just drag it from the flash drive into the GTA San Andreas user files on your PC. So hit copy and replace, and now when you've gone to um, your PC version of San Andreas and you load the game, um, you should see the Mac, the, if you started on Mac, you'll see that saved folder, the saved game into the, you'll see it in the PC version. Alright, that's pretty much it. Um, if there's any problems, just leave a comment. Um, like it or dislike it, whatever you want, and uh, subscribe if you want.